Developed in the late 1960s at Bell Laboratories, Unix was later adopted by the University of California for academic research and publishing. At Berkeley's History of Science Department, typesetting of journals and directories is accomplished from start to finish on a network of Unix-based terminals. Why Unix? Well, apart from the fact that a major version of Unix was designed at Berkeley, it's an eminently portable system. From micro to mini to mainframe, Unix is easily adapted with few or no changes required. The typical Unix network runs on mini computers. User-initiated tasks are distributed among computers through port selectors. But the advantages of Unix are not limited to multi-user portability. The system is also fast and powerful. Once the user has mastered its unorthodox commands, he's rewarded with some very sophisticated features, like background processing. After initiating a task, the user can go on to another one, while the system continues to work on the first. Surrounding the kernel of Unix is a shell, or central command interpreter, that redirects application input and output, manipulates files, and stores command sequences. The shell structure, unlike the commands, is friendly, allowing even the first-time user to perform complex tasks. Unix users give the system high marks for its versatility. Yet up until now, it's been largely confined to a small group of specialized users. It has proven itself to them. Now it must prove itself to the rest of us.